Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Here we are. We have a new series that we're going to do here. Um, Atlanta Exes. This is season one, episode one of the Atlanta Exes. So, another one of these programs about the Exes. Now, I started off watching Hollywood Exes, but I didn't really... I don't know. It wasn't enough to keep me. They didn't keep me engaged. So I kind of stopped watching them after a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. This Atlanta Exes and see what's going on. Let me kind of go through the cast and give you who we have here first. We have Tamika Raymond. I'm sure you all know who she is. That is the ex-wife of Usher. A um, lot of stuff with that Tamika. There's always been a lot of stuff that goes around about Tamika. So we're going to get to actually finally see her. Um, Monietta uh, Shaw, which is... She's the ex-fiance of Neo. They never actually got married, but she was his actual um, fiance. So we're going to get to meet her. Tori Hart, which was Kevin Hart's ex-wife. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, and then Christina Johnson, which is actually CeeLo Green's ex-wife. So that's going to be very interesting to see what type of woman was CeeLo actually married to. Um, and then Cherie Buchanan, which is Ray Buchanan, the football player's ex-wife. So that is the actual, the main cast of this Atlanta exes. So let's move on, shall we? Here at the first thing we see, we see all the girls at, they're gathered at Tamika's house. She's moving out of the house that her and Usher used to live in finally. And they're trying to, like, pack up stuff. She basically had nothing packed. Um, you learn very early on, she is, Tamika is a strong personality is what I'll say. She basically, she has this thing where she was kind of, like, making her circumstances look deeper or more hurtful than the other girls. Like you were getting that right away. Like okay girl. Y'all all been through something. Like really. Let's not do this thing. Where we're going to make it all about you. And another thing. That I see her doing. And I'm not making light of it. You know she got divorced from Usher. And then she lost one of her children. And the accident was an accident. At the little ski boarding. Or um, the water boat pad thing. And he had uh, trauma to the head. And the little boy died. She's lumping all of it together. So that's a lot of what I'm saying. You know, I lost my child. I lost my child. I lost my child. We keep hearing that. And I'm like, I understand. And again, not making light of it. But that doesn't make your hurt of you be having an ex any worse than the rest of the group. It was just, it's weird. But I just noticed her throughout the program doing that. But anyway. Um, moving on from there, they teased her about having some of Usher's pants and she had all this other little shit that she just doesn't purge or anything. She basically had a bunch of junk, um, as well as all her other stuff. Next, we actually do see Christina and CeeLo. Baby, when I tell you, CeeLo is crazy. I love CeeLo, but CeeLo's motherfucking ass is crazy. Um, there was always issues of whether CeeLo was gay or whether he was this or whether he was that. Here it is, guys, flat out. You're hearing it from my mouth. Motherfucking CeeLo is crazy. He done took Christina. He, she done bought into the bullshit. Like she said, he dresses her all the time and all this. And you kind of see from some of the shit that she wears. Yes, this motherfucker's dressing her. He got her like a, like she's a living Barbie doll. Um... One, I'll say, the bitch is sharp. Now, she's sharp. The bitch is big, she's built, and she's sharp. She's, she's like a, like a Amazon. Like, she, she, she's really tall, and, and she's really, really shapely. I like the bitch. I think the bitch is real sharp. You know, she's real, real sharp. But, um, very kind of docile, and she's kind of, you know, stuck in this world. She loves him. She loves him. He done moved on. Got another woman. Don't want her to have no man. He's basically running her. She's like a puppet. 
And I guess she's going to have to get out of that. But she's real sharp. Um, I don't know with the CeeLo thing about his sexuality. I'm just going to give CeeLo that motherfucker crazy. And that's it. He made that song perfect. Perfect. His ass is crazy. And anyway, moving on. We see Tori, which is Kevin Hart's um, ex, and Christina. And they're basically talking about how um, everything kind of came out with them. What you find out about Tori, I like her. I do like this girl. She's a cute girl. Um, really cute dreads and little things like that. You can tell she's not a bitch that's going to be rolled over or pushed over. You can tell that right away. She, one thing I do see, like she says, when I met Kevin, Kevin worked at a shoe store. Kevin wasn't even doing stand-up, this, that, thing, or the other. Now, she actually does do stand-up and stuff herself, is what we're finding out about her. She actually is seeking a career, basically the same kind of career he has. What I sense, I do say, and he cheated on her. He did cheat on her. There was a lot of infidelity and all that. But what I sense of her, I sense that Miss Tory comes off as being jealous of Kevin's fame. That's what I say. I'm sorry. That's what I see. If you think something different, you all let me know. But I see her being a little jealous of his fame and his rise to fame. And it caused some problems. That caused some problems, I think, as well. You know, I don't think it was all just the, the infidelity. But I think she's a little jealous of Kevin. But anyway, moving on. Next, we see Monietta. She's actually having dinner with Lo, which is Neo's mom, and his sister. She has this every every week. She has dinner with them. Um, and Neo's mom was basically pushing her. She's pushing her to move on. You know, she's pushing her to move on. She has another one of those strange relationships, just like uh, Mila from... Um, R&B Divas, where Mila and uh, what's the little child? Uh, music Soul Child have a child together. They live in a house together. Same bullshit over here. Her and Neo still share the house, yet he done moved on, got another woman and all that bullshit, doing whatever he want to do. And she's still kind of stuck in the bullshit. Strange. Strange, but that's again a life of convenience. You know, instead of moving on, you convenient. Let that motherfucker still take care of you. Um, next after that we see Cherie and Christina and uh, Tori they went out they went out um, they were out at a nightclub that goddamn Tor that damn Christina I'm telling you you could tell she got that CeeLo influence this badass top real um, low cut decollete and they have feathers on the end. I said, Miss Thing, you better give drag queen, bitch. Because you know she's big anyway. And got feathers and shit going. I said, go ahead, girl. J just just show clothes. Literally, just show clothes. But um, there was a guy there. He was a really good sport. Cherie. And Cherie is basically like a cougar. This bitch is a cougar. Cougar. I don't even know if that bitch is a cougar. That bitch might be a mountain lion. Because she's like trying to relive her youth and shit. She's like the, the fun girl. She's the party girl. And she's like the oldest one. Um, She basically, they were messing with this guy. And they were saying the guy, he said he was, uh, did he say he was 40 something? I think he was 45. And they were like, oh yeah, you're too old, honey. And Tori and Cherie were really riding him hard. They were being a little bit mean to him. But, um, you know, so basically that they like everything but what he was. But he was a really good sport about it. He was twerking and carrying on. And he wasn't even a bad looking guy. He probably was a really good catch. But again, Cherie is a goddamn mountain lion. And um, Tori, you know, she's too young for that. All that right there. So, next after that scene, we ended up seeing, and, you, and again, you can see at that time that Christina is still under the CeeLo spell because she's very quiet. Very quiet. She wasn't even really engaging. You know what I mean? She's just there. Um, anyway, moving on. Cherie and Tamika are going shopping for Cherie's 11-year-old daughter for her 12th birthday. 
they basically were in this store and um, Cherie was not agreeing with any of the choices that, I'm sorry, Tamika was not agreeing with any of the choices that Cherie was making for her daughter. She was saying that everything was too grown. And she just took it from there and it went somewhere else. And then she started actually attacking this girl's parenting. I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I said, I see this. And the way it's going is this, this is kind of ugly. You know, I, I didn't, it made me a little nervous. Um, that parenting thing, it's, that's a very touchy situation. She started even going into different things about Cherie and how she raised her older daughter. I wouldn't let my daughter drink with me and I wouldn't this and I wouldn't that. She was really, really coming off as judgmental. That is about the quickest way to fall out with somebody and start talking about their parenting because everyone parents different. How I parent may not be how you parent. That doesn't make me right and make you wrong or vice versa. We just do it different. And even when you've been friends with a person for a while, and I've been through this as well, here I go on my soapbox, where a bitch decides that I'm not a good parent. But meanwhile, you look at shit, you know, you can run down 10 things that they do that ain't good, that ain't been good, and ain't turned out good. But where do you go with that? You know, you can fuck up a whole friendship with that type of conversation for real. And then you say, Bitch, what gives you the right? You know what I mean? What gives you the right to put me on front street and tell me what kind of parent I am? But this is, I'm getting off the soapbox now. Come on down with me. Okay. Th that's where Tamika was going. She was fucking out of order. She really was. But I was like, all right. So I'm just like looking. I said, I don't think that's going to end well. But okay. So next we actually see Cherie and Tori. And Tori's actually talking with Cherie. And Cherie is explaining to Tori how some of the things that uh, Tamika has said were really left her feeling offended and feeling some kind of way. So she's like, well, you need to tell her. You know, you need to just let her know that, you know, she can't be crossing that line. It's just too much. So next we have all the girls go out. Um, Tamika literally, I'm just watching her. And she's like being rude. And it was like Cherie is the focus for whatever. She has so much to say about Cherie's top. And the fact that she had a white bra on. and all. She was literally attacking her. And again, as soon as it was addressed, she goes lumping her divorce and the death of her child and all of that stuff. And I'm looking and I'm saying, okay. And this is where I'm getting ready to wrap this video up, guys. Because um, we don't need to go any further with this. Because it's only a first. It was an inter introductory episode. We don't need to go on all of what I have to say. We'll get there. But I'm going to leave you guys with this. And you can leave comments in the bottom. Is Tamika going to prove to be the bitch that Usher's mother says she was? Is she going to prove in this show to be that stinking whore that the media has always made her to be. Or is she going to show us something different about herself and prove herself that I'm not who they say I am? Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it right there with you guys. Leave me comments down in the bottom and let me know what you think. But you guys can thumbs up or thumbs down the video. And again, this is the first one, the first show. And it was not that climatic, but it was cool. Um, enough to make me continue watching. So... On that, you can follow me at Spill It Boy over at Twitter or stop by my website, see what's over there going on at www.spillitboy.com where all the T's are spilling all the time. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.